Sports. Williams with the block. Now on the other end, it's Tatum on the perimeter. Nice. Williams, one of the NBA shot block leaders during the regular season. Yeah. Tatum off the dribble at six foot eight is having a great series. Shoot naturally 25 points with the shooting percentage. Great look by Giannis. They doubled him that time and he made him pay. Double team, they have to double team off of Lopez. Otherwise, give up a three. He's averaging just under 10 assists in the two games so far in the series of Dedekumbo. Here's Tatum on the baseline. Brown with a shot clock at five, oh, trying to rid himself of Holiday. Good feed. Williams soars to the rim and stuffs it. Now that's good. Low shooting percentages for Holiday at 3,500. But since then, they had one of the best records in the NBA. It's hard to believe, isn't it? It's really hard to believe. But the Celtics, they went 26 and 6, their final 32 games of the regular season. And defense, a big reason why. Horford with the blow by. And nice. there's Williams with the tip in. See, that can't happen. That went her. Could have been a foul ball. Big thing right now transition defense, major at both ends. Giannis looking for his first oh, point. What a step through. This guy, 6 11, makes it look so. Uh, he's playing great in this series. Not only deep. Oh, whoa. Giannis. Yep. Count it and a foul. A three point chance for the Greek Freak. We'll spend a little bit more time on the ice bat. I mean, you'll watch. Giannis will attack defenders' chest. And he calling it an offensive foul, or will it be on the defense? Well, like I say, that, that's what I'm saying. What, yeah. What's the foul tonight? And everybody must adjust. And both ends. Brown got caught in the air. Shot clock down to five. Grant Williams through the lane. Horford from the corner. Three is good. Al Horford has really played well. Basket even out the three. But down inside, he's very effective with the baby hooks. And see, there's a push off right there. There's no call. Holiday to the rim, lays it in. But to your point, we his second. Giannis spinning past one guy. Well, he'll back him down. He'll take the jumper. It's oh. good. Yeah, and either way. As soon as he turned around and faced the defender, took a half a step back. Here's Brown. Lost it. Last touch by Milwaukee. Midway through the opening quarter. Winner takes a 2-1 lead in the series. Eight straight years in the playoffs and the second Celtic to win Defensive Player of the Year. Kevin Garnett, the year the Celtics won the championship in 2008, the other. This year in the playoffs, he's giving you double figures. He's going to get six, seven assists every night. He's going to play one of your best offensive players. He's going to dive on the floor for every loose ball. And we know that he loves the physical contact. Substitutions for Milwaukee with Connaughton and Portis checking in. And a backcourt violation. So out of the timeout. A turnover, as you saw, Hime Udoka in his first year as the Boston head coach. Done a brilliant job with this team and their transformation on the defensive end. Well, and also the fact, instead of playing nine or ten players, without Smart, they played seven in the first two games. Think about it. Now they're in a basic eight-man rotation, and it takes your time as a coaching staff to figure out who these people should be. Here's Portis. No good on the three. He's been very good, whether it's as a starter or off the bench, he brings an edge. Good rebounder and a shooter as well. Nice. Giannis with the block. Former defensive player of the year a couple of years ago. Well, it's good to have Portis back in there because he's a double-figure scorer, a three-point shooter, and he's going to give you eight or nine rebounds a game. Giannis through the lane, out to Connaughton on the spot up. No good. And Jalen Brown with a rebound. And then thrown into the backcourt. Williams is there for the easy dunk, so Holiday with the big mistake. That, this is a, that's two passes now early on that they've thrown blindly to a cutter. But unfortunately, the man was not looking for the backs. Giannis walks into a long two. Rebound by Brown. This is what you got to work and worry about, Milwaukee. You must get back because Boston is one of the best at leaking out a man at the top of the circle for the long pass. Brown stops at the foul line. Jalen Brown with his first points, coming off a 30-point game two. Well, we all know that if they're going to get it done here tonight, Tatum and Brown have got to play big 
at both ends of the floor. And then, let's face it, Williams, in that small forward position, has got to come and continue what he's doing. Double figure points, great rebounding, and tough defense. Fourth team foul on Boston. It's on Smart. That's two on him. No team fouls on Milwaukee. Take a look at the upcoming national TV schedule. Coming up on ESPN tonight, WNBA action. Connecticut and the New York Liberty. ABC tonight, game three, Warriors and Grizz with a series tied at one. Sunday, ESPN, Dallas trying to even the series with Phoenix. And TNT, Sixers trying to even things up with the Heat. Offensive foul is called here on Lopez. That's the first foul on Lopez, first on Milwaukee. That won't officially be a team foul. Now for Boston, White has just come into the game for Smart. Derek White, who started for Smart, game two did not score, didn't shoot well in that game, but played good defense, as he always does. He's acquired in a deadline trade with the Spurs. Tatum into the paint, weaving through traffic, draws the larger defender. Skip to Trent Williams with two to shoot, has to put it up, missed it. Portis had trouble initially, but then secures the rebound. Here's Portis now to the corner. Catch and shoot. Connaughton switches home for three. Yeah, that's the advantage of Portis. At six foot nine, very quick, 